Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another tutorial. We are going to be using some of our brand new stamps again today to make this lovely card. So another nice clean white background. I'm actually using a watercolour card today. This was on the Multifarious. You can apply this technique to any card. But for stamping, the Multifarious and our Super Smooth watercolour card works really well. So it's new stamps mixed with old stamps. So just for you to get an idea of how well they actually work together. And I'm going to ink up in the Twilight. So one of my favourite colours. If I'm not using black, I always use this one. It's a really lovely sort of a navy blue ink. So I'm going to pop that down. It's a little bit of a guesswork on this. You could always draw a circle um, as I have done in the past. Or you can just trim your card down at the end to suit. Okay. I'm going to ink up again and just follow that around like so. And then moving on to our smaller stamp. This comes in the collection. There's actually four stamps in total in this set and again I'm going to ink up and this time I'm going to stamp off and just create a little bit of depth and again ink up, stamp off and I'll pop another one up here And then we've got our two little stamps here that come in the set. Now you can build up this as much as you want. That's totally up to you. I'm just going to bob a few of these about. Doesn't need an awful lot, to be honest. And then a little one. I love anything that you build up. I find it all very therapeutic, to be honest. So it's just about getting that balance putting that stamp where the gaps are really. I'm quite happy with that at the moment. We can always add to it at a later time anyway. So now I'm going to just add a little bit of colour So I've got Lime Punch, which is a lovely green. It's a really fresh green and I'm going to go over the top, working my way around. That's just a fabulous colour. And it's a great starting point. And then we're going to go and use the blue at all. And I think I'm going to pick the smaller stencil brush for this. Because I don't want it to be too overpowering. 
So I'm just going to put a hint of this colour. We can add more as we go along if we feel it needs it. Now I've got a Posca pen here and all I'm going to do is colour some of these in just making them a little bit more solid especially where they overlap okay so just colour them in clean colour pens here as well so I'm adding a hint of colour to the other ones. Now you can make these as bright as you want it's entirely up to you what colours you use. I've gone for a little bit more sort of a, a vintage look the next thing we're going to do is using one of our hill masks, I'm going to bob that down. And I want a bit of a snow scene, so remembering to mask off the right side. And then I'm going to use, I've got midnight blue here, which is a really, really dark blue. I'm going to position that and then very lightly I'm going to sweep that over the top I'm going to move it and again this time I'm going a little bit deeper And you can see how effective that is. Just using that little bit of a mask there creates that sort of snow effect. And now I'm going to ink up our lovely little houses. Use these an awful lot. I'm going to ink up in the twilight. and then bob them down on that line that I've created for the ground. Let's give them a good press. And we've got another one here. So let's ink that up. And we'll pop that by the side. And then finally our little house. These all come in a set. You don't have to use them all. And then we've got our trees. So this time I'm going to ink these up now because I want the trees to be behind the houses, I'm going to stamp off first and then pop them down. And you can see that now that looks like it's sitting behind. It's just a really nice technique to give, give you depth to the card. So again, ink up, stamp off and then pop that down. 
next thing we're going to do is ink up the word Noel. And again, if you haven't got this word and you want to use something else, that's entirely up to you. So again, I'm using the twilight and I'm going to pop that just in the gap. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to go back to the Posca pen and I'm going to add a few little dots. to pop the lights on in these houses just by adding the Posca pen. This is a glitter one. This is the yellow which is really quite a nice gold. And just to add a little bit of colour just using the pink now as well. This is the glitter pen again. But if there's a colour combination that you like, give that a go as well. Now, I'm going to add this lovely liquid gold. This is from Kurataki. I've got a nice fine paintbrush and I'm literally going to just dot a little of that over the top. This gold is absolutely stunning. You might not see it under the camera now but I'll try and show you at the end. got such a lovely shimmer on it and it dries with that shimmer as well. So all these little things make a big difference to the, um, the end result of the card. I'm going to now just use the Fosca pen and I'm going to tap a little bit of this over the top just to loosen that colour just gives it a little bit of depth again so I don't know whether you can see that lovely metallic finish let me try this camera I think you can probably see it more on there because it's dry. I hope so. It's really lovely anyway. Well, thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. Thanks for joining me. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.